Welcome to Informatica Video Support. My name is Siddhakant Pradhan. I work as a product specialist for B2B in Global Customer Support Division of Informatica. In today's video, I will be talking about how to enable event logging in DT Studio and how to enable logging for CM Engine, CMDS, CCUtil by modifying the cmconfig.xml. Events.cme So whenever a DT project fails, it generates an events.cme. No matter you are calling from a API, calling from power center or calling from CM console, for any DT failure, an events.cme will be generated. The events.cme file contains the failing information and using that you can find out where exactly it is failing and it is very helpful in debugging a failing NDT project. Similarly, we have different level of logging for engine, CMDS or CCUtils which we can do by modifying the cmconfig.xml. Problems like crash, performance or intermittent issues on the issue which are not a logical or functional issue can be debugged by enabling logging at the cmconfig.xml. You can modify the cmconfig.xml either by launching the cm configuration editor or by opening the cmconfig.xml in any editor. Now coming to the demo. I have a sample project. Okay. So when I run this project, I see the DT project fails with creating an events.cme and it doesn't tell about where is the events.cme. The events.cme file is by default generated in the cm report directory. So to get the events.cme I need to go to the DT home under cm reports under init I have the events.cme. If I open this events.cme in an, any editor, it may not be very helpful or it is not user friendly to understand where exactly the problem is. So to understand it well, I need to import the DT project in the DT studio and I have to debug the DT project using the event.cme. So if the DT project is failing in a Linux box or any Unix box, you need to get the DT project and the corresponding events.cme to a Windows box where the DT client is installed. Now I need to launch the DT studio and I have to install the DT project. Now I have installed that failing DT project. Okay. Now I need to bring, I need to drag the events.cme file. Okay, now as the import is done, you can open the script and have a look what the logic there or you can run the DT project with the same input file. Now you can see in the events view panel, you can see there is execution under that there is my parser because I have the DT project as my parser is the main DT project. Under that I have a repeating group. Okay and it's saying one that is in the first iteration itself there is a marker there is a content marker got passed so we don't have any red flag there whereas the content is failing with a red mark now 
to see where exactly it is failing I need to go to Intel script there I can say open example source so the in the example pane I can see there are this input is there now if I click on the marker you can see it's saying found marker name so it found the marker this one now in the content so it's saying cannot find closing marker of content this one so if I click on this it is highlighting all of them that means the first marker find out the name after that everything is content whereas I am looking for a content it is highlighting here you can correlate as this triangle so in the contents I am searching for a place whereas it couldn't find a place and hence it is failing so this is how we can debug a DT failing project so either because in the DT project we are searching for place and the place is not there it is failing so any DT project on any failure we have to get the DT project the corresponding input file or the event start CME try to look replicate the problem locally and understand from the events CME with the input and with the logic we can correlate where exactly is going wrong so if the l it's mandatory to have a place after the name there's a problem in the input file the input file is not pertaining to the logic so we can say that the input file is the problematic and hence it is failing otherwise if the place is not mandatory we can make the content as a optional you can make it as optional so if it finds then it will process otherwise it won't fail it will just keep the address so that's how we will be debugging ADT failure this is all about the functional and the logical issues other than that we can see problems like crash performance issue intermittent issues so during this time the events.cme or bringing the DD project may not be very helpful so in those cases you can you can run the DT engine in debug mode to do that either you can launch the configuration editor or open the cmconfig.xml and edit the section to run it in debug mode so you can So we have a cmconfig.xml file here. Here there are different sections. So here there is a cmds where it is running by default. The trace is false. So you can make it as a true. And separately should be. info or or else you can launch the cm configuration editor from the dd installation So once you save it, the 
it will be updating the cmconfig.xml as well so you can see it is asking okay it's modified so yes now you can see all this modified information here cm engine uh, the tracing is enabled and the severity level is information and by default it will be the engine logging will be in the cm engine log.txt so now if you run any dt project we can see the logging level information is which creates cm engine log.txt so here we can get all the information like how the execution is going on like how much time does it take to open a xsd how much time does it take to open an input file and how much uh, total time it does it take to ex uh, to run the dt project so with this we will be able to find out where exactly the time is spent as well the other way is we can still enable the do profiler that will tell which component has taken how much time that's all I wanted to uh, explain about uh, how to enable DT logging hope it will be helpful in debugging any DT problem that you face while developing or in your production so for you can give any feedback by emailing into the support videos at the rate informatica.com you can tweet us also at the rate info support for more videos you can look into youtube info support thank you